In this video, I'm going to give a basic tutorial on TLDF for Windows. You can now drag a folder containing all images into TLDF. For this example, I'm going to use a day-to-night time-lapse sequence in Charlotte. All the files are in DNG format. At this moment, TLDF for Windows only supports DNG raw format. Because Windows doesn't support raw files natively, we have to use a third-party library to decode DNG format. If your raw files are not in DNG, you can use the free DNG converter from Adobe to convert your raw files into DNG format. TLDF first reads the metadata from your images. If metadata exists, TLDF sourced images based on the time the photos were taken. So you don't have to worry about the numbers in the files. If you use raw workflow by importing DNG files, TLDF will edit your images in 16-bit. Because there is a lot more data to work with, TLDF can generate the best deflicker result. Also, raw workflow removes the bending effect on the clear sky with the 8-bit workflow. TLDF now renders video in very high bitrate 10-bit ProRes 422HQ format. This video format is perfect for editing and storing your time-lapse. Compared to 16-bit TIFF format, you can save a lot of disk space and editing time. ProRes video can be generated for both RAW and JPEG workflow. For RAW workflow, TLDF generates HDR video in REC 2020 HLG standard. For JPEG workflow, TLDF generates SDR video in REC 709 standard. If you want to generate SDR time-lapse from HDR ProRes video, you can always do the color space conversion with your video editing software. Just interpret the ProRes REC 2020 HLG as REC 709. After all the previews have been generated, please browse through the list. Pay attention to the interval values. If for any reason you don't want an image from the sequence, you can select it and hit the delete key. It will be removed from the sequence, but the file should still be there. The most important algorithm TLDF does is the deflicker. By default, it is checked. If your time lapse doesn't have flicker, you can uncheck it. TLDF still can generate videos and images for your time lapse. For noise reduction and blend, please check out other TLDF tutorials. Please click on Preview button to see the result of the flicker. Reference area, if used correctly, can improve the deflicker result. Please check out our reference area tutorial for details. To use this feature, first check reference area and click set. And then draw a rectangle area on the image. The area should be used as the reference for the flickering. The rule of thumb is to choose sky, cloud, or any other area that are not supposed to flicker. Click Preview again to see the result. TLDF does basic image editing. Select an image and click on Edit Keyframes. You can choose multiple keyframes and TLDF transition the parameters of edits automatically between keyframes. If you have advanced video editing tools like uh, Adobe Premiere, I strongly suggest you output the time lapse in ProRes and do all the editing in the video editing software. Click on Preview again to see the result. If you are happy with the result, you can render the time lapse by clicking the Render button. Set the name of the sequence and select an output folder. Because TLDF is a sandbox UWP app, it can't write to any folder without user specifically selecting it every time you use this app. Use optional scratch folder when you don't have enough disk space on your main drive. You can output images and or videos. My favorite output option is the uh, ProRes 422HQ for the reasons I mentioned earlier in this video. I will choose the output video size to be the same size as the original images. This will give me the maximum flexibility for cropping later. Click on Render button and wait for it to finish patiently.
As you see, it took about 20 minutes. We will try to make this process faster in the future update. Click on exit button to delete the cache and quit the program. Let's watch the final ProRes output result without any additional editing.